Hey, what's up, guys? E lives here, and I'm here to talk about Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Saitama. Well, this is my first vers versus battle video, and I'm going with Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the bald hero. So let's look at Super Saiyan 3 Goku first. It says right here, Goku later stated that he believed he could have killed Boo if he tried. Well, let's look at how strong Boo is. It says right here, Boo is 4B. And 4B, what is that? Let's check it out. 4B is solar system level. And I get, I get this from Versus Battles Wikia. And I'm also going to use res a respect thread for Goku Super Saiyan 3 from reddit.com. Alright, so, solar system level. How strong is that? That's crazy strong, right? It's a character who can destroy or create a solar system. That's that's crazy. And it also says, uh, what can he? What can Boo do? His poten his attack potency is also solar system level. And uh, only below Vegeta on what? What is this? Uh, on attack potency, because Vegeta is crazy strong, right? And his speed speed massively fast faster than light in combat speed and reactions that's crazy now let's look at Saitama he is around 5B or maybe even higher because we we don't really know how strong this guy is and 5B is right here planetary level characters who can create or destroy a planet for sure we don't know if he can create a planet but for sure probably he can destroy a planet but we just don't know it yet because we have not seen the full extent of this kid alright and speed is also a big factor in this because like what Goku says you may be strong but if you're slow how can you hit them and we see this because of how uh, Cell destroyed Super Trunks and durability solar system versus planetary not even a competition where's that at? Uh, but, but still we don't know about uh, Saitama yet because this guy gets stronger and stronger every battle it seems like this guy can he's like, he's like a superman whoever you throw whoever you throw against him he will always fight back even stronger and we see this in all the episodes. He looks like he's a weak sauce, but in the end, he makes the other look like a bug. But still, the only feats we really have from him is him punching a meteor and him jumping from the moon and back, even though that's pretty, pretty strong. And Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he, he's no weak sauce himself. Like I said, he can, like he said, he could have killed Boo, Majin Boo, if he wanted to, but he didn't because he's a pretty stupid kid. And range, don't. Goku can have a range up to solar system level. And Saitama, what does he have? His punches and kicks. He can't really reach anything. If Goku wanted to, he could have just easily just blast him, blast and blast him until he's, he can't get up anymore, you know? You know what I'm saying? What's this? Uh, intelligence, of course. Oh wait, this is Boo. Intelligence. Goku is has many, many years of experience. He's been through so many uh, trainings, and he's like what, like almost 50 years old. So yeah, he's got a lot more experience than Saitama. I forgot how old this guy was. I think he was uh yeah, 25 years old. Yeah, so. Goku has tons more experience than him, but we still don't know how strong he is. He could be like Superman with no limits. And plus, here's a respect thread for Goku. It's a uh, Goku's key as Super Saiyan 3 is so strong that it shakes the earth and transcends the immortal, transcends the mortal realm. And 
it shows it right here in this manga and we also see it in the anime where he powers up and basically shakes the whole earth in the end from my perspective I believe Super Saiyan 3 Goku will outlast and probably beat Saitama well well I still have a lot of love for this guy he's a funny guy well that's it for my first video don't take it too hard guys this is my first video for this or like this and stay tuned for more peace